Uh, obviously, um, it's been a difficult start to the season, and credit to credit to players for staying with it and um, continuing to battle. And and I thought that um, uh, their cohesiveness on the defensive end tonight was really what allowed us to 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 win. Um, I thought we played uh, with a disjointed group offensively, pretty efficiently uh, under the circumstances. So. Uh, super happy for the young men and really thankful for the, all the great fans that supported us today. It, um, it, it sends everybody home with Christmas with much warmer feelings. How do you feel? Do you feel a sense of relief or anything? No, I, this, I'm a big picture guy. We, got, we, got, we still have some major issues to overcome. Um, we have a you know, a lot of season left. Um, we have a lot of challenges we still have to address. Um, but you know, I'm really happy for the young people. You know, um, I really am. I, I think it's uh, it's it's been a tough start, obviously, um, and uh, they deserve to have a little reward. What does it mean <clears> going forward to get get a W? Though? Oh, I mean, you know, there's a lot of season left. You know, obviously, I think, you know, w we try to take it game by game, week by week, and you know, obviously, when you have as Poor of a start as we've had, um, it gets magnified. And, and uh, as I've told them, just blame the coach. You know, um, uh, we, we have to do a better job coaching them. Uh, and I uh, thought today um, they did a better job playing, you know, uh, probably than we did coaching. Um, but um, it's a lot of season left. They can still accomplish a lot of things, but we can't unless we get certain things fixed. Um, so we're going to have to we're going to have to hope that we can get healthy. Number one, because that's been the the number one issue with this team. Um, and if we can get a complete roster at some point, then hopefully we can become a little bit more efficient offensively and a little more consistent defensively. Mark, any time any team in any sport goes through a losing streak, the, the cliche thing is that once it's over, you sleep better, the food tastes better, the surroundings look better. Will you sleep better? Will your food taste better the next few days? Or is that... No, like, here's what I think. Um, you know, I, I met with a guy today who's, who's, whose daughter has cancer, right? And um, th those, that, that poor gentleman's not going to sleep well tonight. You know, there's, there's been, I mean, we're disappointed in how we, we started. I am disappointed in, in, in how we started, um, even with the circumstances we've been dealt. Um, but, um, you know, I, I also understand that the, all the challenges that are in place, um, you know, it, it, I haven't I haven't lost a ton of sleep. I don't sleep anyway. So like, you know, uh, I won't sleep tonight. You know, I'm not a big sleeper, right? So um, I'm just happy for our young people so they can they can have some peace and they can move forward. That that I am relieved about. Uh, the rest of it is the the, the inherent challenges are still sitting there. A challenge, obviously, with Devin out and you overcame a challenge today. How long do you think? Um, yeah, yeah, the time frame on all those guys, obviously, Ragsdale's a kid that joined us this year, is out for the year. Hyder had back surgery, he's out for the year. Um, Jalen shouldn't be out for the year. Um, he's been shooting with our, with our team, um, so don't know the timetable for that. Um, obviously, Clayton has not been cleared for any contact, so I don't know when uh, that will occur and then when he can play, but it's sooner than Celestine, uh, Devin. Um, you know, I don't think it's a long-term thing, um, but when I saw how discolored and black and blue it was, I didn't think he'd be playing today. And, and um, so hopefully the break will be good for him. I don't know who else I'm missing, but um, yeah, I mean, that, we got to get some guys back for sure. I wish there was a, there was a moment where they pulled within six Grant comes in, nails the three, puts it up to nine. That kind of jump started your run into halftime and then he started into the second half. Was that a moment of, of, of a mentality change, you think, for the guys thinking that they could probably win this out? Well, I think it's a moment of growth for, for a young guy like Grant, who's just played so many minutes as a true freshman and never really had a chance to catch his breath. And and um, he made a big basket. That's an important play, you know. Um, so I think it maybe uh, I think it's great that you recognize that. I think it was probably more – 
a moment of growth for him um, because like he didn't get sped up in the moment. It wasn't too big. There's a little pressure building in the game. We've had a tough start and he calmly just made the play that he's capable of making. So I thought it was a sign of you know, really progress for him. All right. Happy holidays to everybody. Thanks.